A Manhattan woman who flew on an American Airlines flight from Miami to LaGuardia Airport in New York says she was shocked that the flight she was on was packed full of passengers and about half those people were not wearing masks despite the coronavirus pandemic. Angie Wong told the New York Post that flight 2669 was between 80 percent and 90 percent full on Wednesday. For more, we're joined now by airline expert Seth Kaplan. Seth, it's good to have you here. Uh, this is certainly seems like a dangerous situation for, for these travelers to be in at a time like this. Uh, you know, we've talked about it. Air travel is way down. Why are we seeing planes packed full of people? Well, once in a while, what happens is because airlines have canceled so many flights, uh, even if not that many people are flying, they can kind of end up consolidated onto one flight. But that doesn't mean that what happened is is okay, and, and that's for a few reasons. Uh, you know, first of all, uh, different airlines have approached this differently. But Delta, for one, says, you know, there's nobody in the middle seat now, so obviously you can't have a flight on most air, uh, mm -hmm. airplanes, 80 or 90 percent full. Uh, if there's nobody in the middle seat, most of these planes that fly domestic routes like that. It, you know, it could only be two thirds full, something like that, right? And, and beyond that, uh, you know, look, there's this national policy here, or lack thereof in this country, about masks. Canada has said if you fly, very simple, you have to wear a mask or you can't get on the plane. This is sort of like a lot of things in this country, right, where it's kind of just been left to companies and individuals to do what they what they want. And uh, I don't blame her for feeling that way, right? And so clearly the airlines are not mandating that all travelers wear masks on board their flights. Do you think this is going to take uh, the federal government stepping in to, to force the hand of the airlines on this, on this particular safety issue? You know, I, I think the airlines have sort of taken the position that they are not epidemiologists, uh, and and they rather clearly have, have made some mistakes here, right? Uh, they've gone from you know, not permitting their crew members early on by, by some accounts to wear face masks at all, to sort of looking the other way, and now they're all wearing them. Uh, you know, the airlines kind of could use some guidance here. I mean, this is new for everybody, but if there's somebody at the federal level who, who feels, and you could kind of read between the lines when you watch these press briefings, right? You know, you kind of know how, how mm -hmm. Dr. Fauci feels, and there's not full agreement uh, among everybody up there, but uh, clearly, yeah. there's not the will at that level to to mandate something like that. And uh, look, uh, you can't walk into a lot of supermarkets now without wearing a mask. And you're sitting a lot closer to a person, especially on, on a rare flight like that, that that's so full, to a person next to you on a flight. So it, it, it does seem like you'd sure want to have people wearing masks. All right. I, I mean, after we see a situation like this uh, play out and it gets a lot of attention, do, do you think the airlines are, are going to are going to start to, to focus a, a little bit more on, on how to implement some of these safety measures on board flights, allowing people to be a little further apart from each other and maybe strongly encouraging that people wear masks? I mean, it sounds like you pack a flight full like this. That's that's purely a business decision. You're, you're just trying to make as much money as you can on that trip. Yeah, and, and I mean, it, it probably happened haphazardly. Just kind of imagine how this happens. These are only been canceling flights. And, and again, generally, even though they're flying so little, there still aren't very many people on board. But then you can imagine how that would happen. So, uh, so hard to say whether they purposely packed that one flight so full. But you're right, you know, ha having a rule about no middle seats, you know, that's something they could do and, and that Delta and, and others have done. And then the masks, I, I mean, if anything, that. You know, you don't have to turn away any business to require people to wear masks. Again, I almost just kind of like to see the regulation because you can imagine these airlines are all thinking about what, what's the other airline doing and all that sort of thing. That's that's kind of what right. government is for sometimes, right? Uh, it, reasonable right. people and can this, disagree about what government should be doing everywhere, but uh, this is one where we need some help. Yeah, and, but of course, it, you know, w when you have so few people flying, the way to get people back in the air is to, to make them feel comfortable uh, about exactly. traveling once again. Uh, you know, yeah, in, in the big picture sense, that's what you have to do. And, and I don't, you know, scenes like that uh, certainly, certainly don't help uh, to put people at ease. Uh, we have to leave it there. Uh, we always appreciate you coming on. Nice to, nice to talk with you, airline Likewise, expert Alex. Seth Kaplan. Take care. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Hey, you too. Stay safe.